Get on that gunship, soldier. I want Fort Strong cleared, and that stockpile is secure. Having the Fredwick moored above the airport keeps the Brotherhood within striking distance of the city. Let's get airborne.
Watch your step. There's quite a bit of debris here. Judging from the amount of dust, I wonder what's in here. Never can have too many weapons. Why are you bothering me? Searching through it could prove beneficial.
whatever created this mess might still be around. Can you imagine these weapons in the hands of those super mutants? Look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Why do you hate super mutants so much? They're responsible for the death of a close friend, a brotherhood knight named Cutler. So when you ask if I hate them, I say hate's too gentle a word. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward, only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. How could synths bring about our destruction? If the synths reached the point where they outnumbered mankind, how long would it take for them to decide we were no longer necessary? They certainly possess the capability to make more of their own kind, and with Institute technology on their side, nothing could stop them. It's a nightmare scenario almost too terrible to contemplate. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done, and you should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. Dismissed. We need to get out of this radiation, now.
Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. So, what happens at Fort Strong now? Paladin Dance is supervising the transfer of the Fat Man warheads to the Prudwood. They'll provide quite an edge to our arsenal. I've also ordered a detachment to occupy the location, and use it as a staging area to protect the eastern side of the airport. All in all, you handed us quite a valuable location. It was an honor fighting for the Brotherhood. I'm glad you feel that way. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Where can I get more signal grenades? I'd use the supply I gave you sparingly. Should you need more, you should acquire them from Proctor Tegan. Will the vertebrate stay and help me fight? I'm afraid I can't spare a fully armed gunship for this task. Of course. Nothing's stopping you from using the door gun while in flight. Thank you, Elder. I expect that you will. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead by now. I'm sure you deduce that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team, according to our scribes. The reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute, and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths, must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth They've come up empty-handed. Where do I start? I want you to get out there, and become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met, so I'm confident you'll travel in the right circles. If you discover a way in, I need you to report it to me immediately. Any questions, Knight? energy readings. Our scribes are confident that the energy readings are from Institute technology, due to the unusually high frequency. But the source is unknown. We're still detecting them on occasion. But by the time we set a team to investigate, they disappear. Just watch your step. Is there anything else? Not right now, Elder. Very well, then. Wow, you're tall. Hi there. Do all you outsiders wear such funny clothes? You see that big blimp? It's the Brotherhood of Steel. Why are they here? Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client? 
here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. Uh-huh. Kellogg kidnapped my baby, handed him to the Institute, and I'm gonna find them and make them regret what they've done to me. The Institute. Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there, but... Where the Institute actually is. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg? Huh. Man like that would have had access. In and out. But we both know that angle isn't going to work. Because he's in hell. Where he belongs. So... A murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. So, what now? Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Jesus, Nick! Gross! Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this... this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. I'll head there on my own. All right. See it? Don't worry. We're gonna get the boy back. While you two are out, I'm gonna do some more research. And by the way, at some point, you owe me an interview. you're a vault dweller so here's the deal I want an interview besides I'm already following you around all right Piper I'm in good so I know you're from a vault my family and I were frozen w wait <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge the whole time are you saying you were alive before the war? Behold, I am immortal. You know, I guess you kind of are, aren't you? Oh my god. The woman out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth. You're all living in rusty shacks, killing each other, and oh my god, the smell. Okay. Well, that's gonna be a fun one to quote. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. Uh -huh. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them?
find who's responsible, and make them pay. Simple as that. I'll take anger over apathy any day. Good quote. Thanks, Blue. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna get Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, we should probably get going. the General Atomics Galleria. Uh, yes, yes, that's right. <clears throat> Splendid. Well, let me be the first to welcome you to your new assignment. Once you've had a chance to get settled in, you should report to the director. Uh -huh. The Galleria is currently closed to the public, but staff and employees are permitted on the grounds, of course. If you have any questions, I... Uh -huh. Why is the Galleria closed? I'm sorry, but due to pending litigation, I am unable to comment. What is this place? The General Atomics Galleria is the shopping center of tomorrow. Our wide array of stores are staffed entirely by the General Atomics line of robots. Come in and experience the General Atomics difference. Who's the director? General Atomics patented director management system, DMS, is responsible for coordinating the actions of the robots here at the Galleria. The director allows the Galleria to operate autonomously. That's all. Very well. accepting applications, but I do my best. That's just what a commie spy would say. Just what are you up to? Wait, the grand reopening? Are you grand reopening supervisor 18 Alpha? You're late. Yes. Yes, that's right. Manual authorization of the grand reopening requires authentication, so I'm going to need to see your ID. Sir. Manual activation? 
Is there any other kind? Automatic activation was scheduled for January 1st, 2078. Wait. Analyzing. Corrupt task detected. Task scheduler repaired. Accessing protocols. All units, stand by for the grand reopening. Processing firmware updates. Done. Reinstating combat inhibitors. Done. Designating new facility supervisor. Done. The General Atomics Galleria is now open for business. As the grand reopening supervisor, you will be conducting tonight's customer appreciation raffle. Here is the grand prize. That'll be all, soldier. Dismissed! All systems are operating at peak efficiency. Security's too good. Welcome to Madden. I'm afraid our boxing instructor, the champ, is a little under the weather today. If there's anything you'll need, I'm sure Danny can help you. Now, if you'll excuse me. All right, maggots, listen up. I want your stores clean yesterday. Move it, move This area is under our protection. What do you want? We don't need any more trouble around here. Take it easy. I'm You're with the Minutemen? We sent word with one of them passing traders, but honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen these days after Quincy. Bad business, that. Is there something you need my help with? <sighs> Yeah, there's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. We know where they're coming from, but we can't go up against a gang like that. I'll kick their asses for you. No problem. Thanks, friend. If you folks are for real this time, it'll be a welcome change for the better.
objective. There you are. Ours now. Guess they're not interested in sharing, huh? What a bunch of junk. Find those raiders? Yeah, I took care of them. No kidding. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the minute again. We want things to get better, so we're in. to do some work. You ask me, freedom's always worth fighting for. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. Not much use yet, but once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. I don't think I ever told you what happened to the Minutemen. How I ended up as the last one. I'm not interested in your life story. Just hear me out. This is important. Have you heard of the Quincy Massacre? Your group came from Quincy, didn't you? That's right. Mama Murphy, Sturges, the Longs. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. We were the only ones that came. Only a few of us got out alive. We never found a safe place to settle. Sounds like it's time for the Minutemen to vanish for good. No. I don't accept that. We just need better leaders. That's why I'm talking to you. Uh-huh. Why can't you lead the Minutemen? That's not who I am. 
but that's not going to be enough to bring the Minutemen back from the brink. We need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. I've already followed you through hell and high water, and I'd like to think I have more sense than most. No. I'm not your savior. Can't force you to do anything, but you could do a lot of good in this role. I get it. You can't take care of other people's problems when you're still overwhelmed by your own. But one day, I hope you change your mind and...